when I showed up in Silicon Valley in 1982, I'd never heard the word entrepreneur before, nor had anyone else in corporate America. Entrepreneurial companies have been wildly successful, but they've always kind of coexisted alongside the established economy. Today, the entrepreneurial capitalism has really replaced traditional economy companies. And the result is that the large incumbent, often public companies, are actually thinking about are they gonna be able to survive in the world of entrepreneurial capitalism? What makes entrepreneurial capitalism different is that it's willing to break the rules. It's willing to take risks. It is not uh, biased by culture that was created decades ago, but it's focused around solving really interesting new problems, often in very different ways. The reality is that we're in a customer-defined world. Technology is becoming a commodity. It's how you use technology to enable better and better services and products for customers. And so everybody is vulnerable uh, unless they keep in tune with customers and realize that technology is just an enabler. I believe that uh, when you're talking about how do you satisfy a customer, uh, it could be a product, it can be a service, but increasingly the most successful companies are the ones that say, hey, we're really in the business of selling an experience that the customer is going to love and become loyal to. So maybe it's a physical product, like an iPhone, maybe it's an experience, like WeWorks, but it's always going to be uh, focused around differentiating yourself from everybody else by saying, I've got to create an experience for the customer that is very unique and special.